Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. We are going to be making this adorable, cute little hello card. Look, snail inside moves. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're gonna make this adorable card. And let me just give you a heads up. We made this at my local club night this past weekend and Peggy was the one that helped us all create her card because Peggy had sent this to me for her Christmas card this past Christmas. Isn't that gorgeous? And we all fell in love with it. So she recreated it. And then we got to use the Dragonfly Garden. Hold the whole suite. It's so beautiful. But we all got to make one this past Saturday night. So she gave us all the directions. So I kind of redesigned it and we're going to make the snail one today so let's go ahead and get started okay so i went ahead and did some prep work ahead of time so i wouldn't have to bring over my machine but you're going to need these pieces here so let's start with the base this piece of bermuda bay is cut at four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half and then i'm using a piece of the costa cabana this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter that's going to go on the front and then i'm using the the snail mail designer paper. Let me show you the large pieces. So this is the snail mail designer paper. These are just two of the sheets that I'm using today, but there's like a whole bunch of them in the pack. This is the inside design that I'm using for the inside of my card. And then this cute little snail is what I use to cut out with the die, which I'll show you that. And then here's the front side of our card using the, all the different languages with the hello. So you can see here, isn't that cute? So that's the snail mail designer paper. So this piece is gonna go on the front, even though this isn't the actual piece, I've already got one cut, but you're gonna cut this at three and three fourths by five. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's going in the right direction. Okay, so I've already cut one, so that one is going in the right direction. And then this piece is for the inside, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. And this piece of Bermuda Bay, which is, which is gonna end up looking like this piece, this is cut at two and a half by four and a quarter. We're gonna score that. And then on the little tiny piece of the Costa Cabana, and this piece is cut at a half inch by two, and we're gonna score that as well. And then to make our pendulum or our swing card, you're gonna need a window sheet. Hopefully you can see that. Mine is cut at a half inch by mm, about three and three fourths inches long. And the length really goes by what you prefer. Okay, so when we get to that point of the card, I'll explain all that, all right? Let's go ahead and grab our trimmer. So this is gonna be the, the base of the card, which is right here on the card. You can see right there where it folds up. This is the one that I made horizontal, which is the one we made on Saturday night. And then this one is going vertical. So you can see here, this is the bottom piece we're gonna make for the card, okay? So we're gonna score. Remember, this piece is cut at two and a half by four and a quarter. So you're gonna score on the two and a half inch side at a half inch. Make sure I'm gonna score and not cut. So score at a half inch. And then one and a quarter. And two. Okay, then we're gonna take our little Costa Cabana piece. Remember, this is the half inch by two inches. And we're gonna score this at a half inch. down to one inch. Just trying to see if I got that on one inch. One inch and then one and a half inch. Now the easiest way to do this instead of doing such a little piece, just cut a big humongous piece like this, for instance, two inches and then just score it and then you can just cut it at half inch increments, all right? All right, so that's our little um, mechanism that's gonna be for our swinger part or the the pendulum all right and then this piece you're going to make your center fold go to the mountain peak right so mountain and then you're going to have a valley over here and then a valley on this side okay so it should look like an m or a w we're going to use it as the w way into the card though all right so we have both of our little pieces here the two pieces that are very important to this card Okay, so this is what I did for the layers. So I took the, the designer paper and the Costa Cabana 
And I just put a little bit of adhesive behind the designer paper just to hold this in place. And we're gonna layer these together instead of this way, it should be going this way. But then I went ahead and took our layering circle dies. And remember, you can use any shape for these windows. Like Peggy here, she used the rectangle and then we use the circles. So you could use the ovals, the squares, all kinds of different shapes. So I'm gonna take this size circle here and I'm just gonna put that right in the center of both of those pieces together, just like that. And then we're gonna run that through the die cut machine, okay? Then once you get that cut out, then it should look like this, okay? Then you're gonna take your base of your Bermuda Bay and you're going to put that right on top of where you want your let me remove this piece here, the Costa Cabana piece. Put that right where you want it. And then you're gonna grab your pencil and then you're going to trace your circle here so you can get that lined up perfectly. And then take your circle die again and then lay that right over top of that circle and then run that through the machine, okay? So then all your pieces, after you die cut them, with the cutout with the circle, they should all line up perfectly. Okay, so let me go ahead and put these pieces, which I've already got the Bermuda Bay piece cut. So let's go ahead and put those pieces together. Okay, so we got all our layers together now on the base of the card. Then what I did is I took an extra piece of the Bermuda Bay cardstock and I made a little frame. So what I did for that is I took the regular circle that I cut out for the center of the front of the card. Then I took the scallop size up and I layered those together. And then I just ran that through the die cut machine and then I got a frame. And then the frame is gonna layer right onto the front of the card, just like that. Let me grab my liquid glue. All right, so our window is on our front of our card. Okay, so now we're gonna build our pendulum. So remember when we scored this piece, this is the half inch by two, and we're gonna grab our liquid glue and we're gonna put just the liquid glue right on the center section. So you have your score line here and a score line here. So we're just gonna put it right like where that M is so you can see the M here, right? We're gonna glue this center piece together. Right, we're just gonna hold that just for a second so it adheres together really nicely. Then we're gonna grab our window sheet and you're gonna wanna grab a brad and then also a hole punch. Okay, so I have my crocodile here. We're gonna punch, I believe this is the one yeah, one eighth side of the hole punch. And right where we glued this section right here, so these two ends right here are gonna set up like this. So this section right where we glued together, we're gonna punch a hole out of that, center of that, okay? And then we're gonna grab our window sheet and we're just gonna punch a hole into that, one of the ends, okay? Right there looks good. Okay, so you can see I got a hole right there. Hopefully you can see that. So these are gonna layer together with the brad. Now at my club night, we all used eyelets. Do you guys remember eyelets? And I just gave all my eyelets away in my mystery boxes, so I don't have any eyelets, but I do have some brads. So let me grab my brad. And you'll just need a little brad. You don't need a humongous brad because you're just holding these two pieces together. So you're just gonna grab your window sheet and put your bread in the punch out and then slide that into that punch out that we did. Okay, so another trick too, you want this pendulum part of the swing part to be somewhat free flowing, right? So when we did it with the eyelets, it seemed like it worked really good, but I don't have any eyelets. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch your bread somewhat closed. And then you're gonna grab a pair of scissors. You could also use a pair of tweezers, but I feel like the scissors are a little bit more easier to use. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna put them right underneath both of those brads on the sides. So you have one of the blades on one of the brad sides and then the other. And then you can press that down. And what that's doing is it's giving you a little free space 
for that brad to move freely so you can see how nice and easy it flows don't you love that so you can do the same thing with the pair of tweezers but these um, paper snips are really nice for that okay so then we're going to go ahead and use our inside of our card for this pendulum so you're going to take remember this is the part that you're going to put your snail onto and then we're going to open this end up here now you can use your um, runner tape if you want but I'm going to use liquid glue because then you can maneuver it in place too right so we're just going to put some liquid glue on the ends just like that and then we're just going to stick this over and you're going to put this like a airplane wings right we're going to put that right over top of the center score line so it's just going to balance right between there hopefully that's showing up on camera we're just going to hold that just for a couple seconds okay so let me go ahead and put our adhesive we're going to use it as a w right inside of our card so it's going to go like this and then this piece is going to fold over here so it should look like a w so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and run my adhesive on both sides so one over here and then one over here okay so they're going to be ready to go so first we're going to go ahead and put this side on and another thing too is i highly recommend is that you burnish the score lines of this piece right here so it folds flat let me get my bone folder I'm just going to go ahead and burnish this edge right here really nice and then you can do the other side where the little score lines are the half inch okay now before we seal up the whole card we got to go ahead and put our inside piece in this is the four by five and a quarter so what's nice with this piece is it's going to cover up this mechanism and then also the connecting part even if you don't use the same color if you use like a white or even a Costa Cabana color it's gonna get all that covered up so nobody can see through it in the window so you're just gonna put this inside the card covering up that pendulum mechanism and then also at the very bottom edge Plus, with it's all being Bermuda Bay color, it kind of looks nice. Okay, so then before we actually close up the card, we're going to add our snails. So now this is what I did for that. So this is the snail dies, and this snail right here coordinates with this designer paper. So I just cut out the snail, right? So this is the snail mail designer paper, and then that cut that out. And then you're going to want a second layer because you want some stability to that pendulum part. So what I did is I just used the basic white and I just cut another snail out just for the background. Because see, it's not even going to show on the card. It's just the front. Okay. So go ahead and cut those out with your die. So we're going to take our liquid glue. Now, making sure you know which side your snail is going to be facing the right way because you want them to be stacked up on top of each other perfectly. So this is the way my snail is going to go into the card. So we're going to put adhesive, the liquid glue, all over the snail. And then I'm going to grab my card. I'm going to set this. And this is where you're going to have to eyeball your window too. So you're going to have to kind of see where your snail is going to be fitting inside the window. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Right about there. Bring it down just a little bit more. So then kind of eyeball your where you want your snail to go. You do have some wiggle room, especially since you're using the liquid glue. So you're going to press that down into that basic white snail and then add some glue on top of that window sheet. And then we're going to line these up together. Let's put it right on top of each other. Now this is the time where you want to make sure it's going to actually peek through the window, which it does. Looks really cute. I might want to move it up just a little bit. That's where the liquid glue comes in handy because you got some time to wiggle it around. Okay. That looks really cute. Look, he peeks through the window perfectly. All right, then we're going to take our bottom section here. Remember, we already added our adhesive to that. And then you're going to bring this down and line that up with that edge. So it's making like a little frame so that snail inside of your window 
can free swing without any interruption or hitting anything. Just making sure it's adhered down really good. It just folds flat. Now it's going to be a little bit bumpy up here, especially if you use a brad like I did, but it should not interfere with the card at all. Okay, so then that's it. And then you can see how it moves. Of course, it'd be moving better if it was standing upright, but I want to show you the snail inside of it. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, so let me show you the other ones. So now here's the same type of card using the snail, but I went horizontal instead of vertical with this one. And then here's Peggy's Christmas card that's absolutely beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And then here's the one we made Saturday night with everybody at club night. So cute. Thank you, Peggy. We love it. So pretty. And this is using the Dragonfly Garden suite of goodies. All right. So, hey, if you have any questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. So then I also have all the items listed down below in case you're interested in purchasing any of them. And then also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. All right. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.